Hi guys, my name is Rohit. So today we will be learning about redemption on preferences. So first, what is redemption? Basically, you've received the preferential capital earlier, right? So you're paying it off. That's it. Redemption. So, but there are two uh, segregations to pay off redemption. You either use the general reserves or you issue new fresh equity capital to pay off the redemption. Okay. Let's come to general reserves. They are the free reserves of the company. For example, profit and loss, the general reserve account. They are all included in the general reserves. So, an important rule in accounting is whenever you use the general reserves to pay off the redemption, the same amount which you used to pay off the redemption shall be transferred to an account called capital redemption reserve. That's very important. We'll look, we'll look at the journal entries later. So, what is capital redemption reserve? Fine, let me explain. Um, every company has a share capital, right? So let's say that there is a line, share capital. When it's paying off, uh, when, it's reading, uh, when it's paying off the redemption for preference shares, it's basically paying off its money, the capital. So then there is an unbalance which, is, which has been formed. So this unbalance is not a state of a form, it should be balanced. So therefore, we transfer some amount from the profits or the free reserves of the company to capital redemption reserve to balance the scale off. That's the concept of CRI. So basically when you're using the uh, general reserves account to pay off redemption, you transfer the same amount to CRI. That's the rule of accounting. Okay, next. Now let's come to uh, issuing equity shares to pay off redemption. In terms of that, uh, let's say you get a balance amount which has to be uh, redeemed. Uh, you issue equity shares on par or premium. The premium will be considered as a profit but not an equity. Premium on issuing of equity shares or premium on redemption of uh, preference shares both are will be considered as loss and profit but not equity. Okay. Now let's look into the calculation of equity shares provision. This is the 13th sum of the module. So let's look at the question. Uh, the first uh, uh, question is to sell all investments for 16,000. So the value of investments here is 18,500. So when they sell it for 16,000, there's a loss in world of 2,500 rupees. That would be deducted from the profit and loss. So let's go to the next part of the reduction. To finance the part of reduction from company funds, subject to leading a balance of 12,000 in the profit and loss. Which basically means that since profit and loss account comes on a general reserve, when you're using uh, the general reserves to pay off reduction, we're supposed to leave a balance of 12,000 should not be used to pay off the reduction. That's what I uh, specified, this is specified here. Subject to area balance of the Okay, next question. To issue sufficient equity shares of 50 each at a premium of 13 per share to raise the balance of funds amount. So, redemption amount, we use the general reserves to pay it off, fine, uh, minus it. The remaining amount, we're supposed to pay it off uh, using the issue of fresh equity shares. So, to find that out, this is the calculation which we will be performing. First, we take the general reserve balance from the balance sheet. In our case, the general reserve is profit and loss. So profit and loss account balance available is 48,000. So, remember the first sub question. We sell off all investments for 16,000. There was a loss incurred. Because the value of investments was 80,500. They're selling for 16,000. The loss incurred is 2,500. We deduct that from the general reserve. So, the total value what we get is 45,500. Then, as specified in the question, the preference shares have to be paid or have to be paid on redemption on a premium on a premium of 7.5%. So this is that value, 7.5% into the total face value of the preference shares, which is 65,000. So 7.5% 65,000 is 4,870. We are deducting that from the profit and loss account, because as I told earlier, premium paid on reduction, the premium received on issue of equity shares will be considered as loss or profit, but not as equity. Hence, we are deducting the premium on reduction from profit and loss account. So, and then, the, the, let's go to the second sub question, which asks us to leave a back balance of 12,000, right? So, before calculating the P&L balance, 
to use it for reduction. We have to also deduct the remaining 12,000 which was asked by the question to retain. So we retain the 12,000 from 45,500 which means basically deducting it from the bill. So after doing such calculations, we receive our 28,625. So this is the general reserves amount available after the sub calculations. So as I told earlier, the important rule of accounting is to transfer the general reserves amount which has been used for reduction to capital redemption reserve. That is this. We transfer to CRR 28,625. There will be an additive amount used to pay of redemption as well as will be transferred to CRR. Now let's move to the part of calculating the number of equity shares to be issued. So let's take the face value of equity shares, 65,000, less the general reserves balance, that is the profit and loss account balance which we received after the sub calculations, 28,600. The remaining balance, 36,375, plus the amount of money we have to raise using equity shares. So since they've given in the question, that the equity shares should be issued by 50 rupees per share, not including the premium because the premium is considered as a uh, gain but not equity. Therefore, we will be dividing the total amount into 50 rupees, which gives us 727.5. Since shares can't be in half, we round it off to 728 shares. So this will be the amount of shares we will be raising to pay off redemption. Okay, let's move on to the journal entries of the sum. First one. Remember the first sub, sub question where we sold investments at a loss? The earlier first journal. Bank account debited 16,000. Payroll account debited uh, uh, 2,500. So this is the money we received from the sale of investments. This is the loss incurred. So add to investments account 18,500. Investment account assets decreases, it's credited. Asset increases, it's debited. Payroll account, the loss increases, it's credited. The investments sold at a loss. Let's go to the next joint. So, these two entries, two and three, are the entries of fresh issue. So, the first entry is, yeah, bank account. Okay, uh, uh, so, entry two and three, this will be concerned with the issue of fresh, uh, fresh equity shares. So, uh, shares to be uh, uh, issued, we have received money of uh, amount 45,864 rupees, which is including the premium of 30 rupees. So this is the entry for the initial money received, bank account debited to equity share capital. And this is a transfer uh, entry, which basically means you are transferring the amount received from share application to equity share capital and securities premium account. So basically remember the premium which 30 rupees per share. So that premium amount is a profit. The profit will be transferred to securities premium amount. So this is the journey. Equity share application not debited 45,864 to equity share capital. Only the face value of shares, which is 50 per share, will be 78 shares, it's about 6,400. To securities premium amount, that is the premium amount, the, uh, 30 rupees per share, into 78. The share application money transfer. So now, for the so this entry is concerned with the uh, paying of the loss by re reduction of preference shares. So since it's been specified in the question that preference shares should be redeemed as premium, it's basically a loss for us. So that loss has to be charged on the PL because this is the general results of a company. So the loss of 4875 which is basically 7.5% on the total amount of preference shares, that's the premium amount. We charge it off from the PNL account. So this is the PNL account debited to redemption on preference shares account. The premium amount charged on redemption. Okay. The fifth entry. This is one of the most important again. This is the capital redemption reserve entry. As I mentioned earlier, the general reserves amount to be, which is being used to pay up the redemption should be transferred to CRR, right? So this is the entry which takes place for that. Created a column which we use here, 28,625. That amount will be transferred to CRR, basically capital contribution reserve. So, three reserves transferred to CRR, 28,625. So, this is done. This is the final entry. 
which is we basically dealing with different shares with company. So this is a dividend, and this is the actual transaction. Dividend rate goes like this: redeemable preference share capital account, debit rate sixty-five thousand, face value of preference shares, premium or redemption of preference shares account debit, which is basically the loss price, four thousand eight hundred. Two preference share order. Since this is a dividend, the preference share order account is treated as a dividend. Hence, such transactions being amount due on redemption. And this is a transaction. Preference share order is account liability increases debit rate account debit is sixty nine thousand eight seventy five. Putting the face value and the premium sixty nine thousand eight seventy five to bank account. Basically, the reserves in a form has been liquid liquefied into cash. So the that cash has been paid from bank account to preference share account. Hence, that is. Thank you.